Hey guys, welcome back to my discussion on visual analytics using Tableau. In my last discussion, I was talking about how we can implement local and global aggregation on your data set. Today, I'm going to do such certain basic formatting, which will actually help you to groom your model. Suppose for this example, I'll be working on the same data model or the same visual that I have taken in my last example. Suppose there's a scenario where you have actually visualize your data or the product subcategory in terms of sales. Now you can easily see in this particular example that the sales value are not formatted properly means there is no currency type that is mentioned for this particular sales value for each product category. So we can add certain currency symbol for each sales value with the help of the format option. So Tableau provides you with a number of format options where which you can use in order to groom your model and make it more and more informative. So in order to add a currency symbol in, in front of each sales value, we need to again go to this mark section and we can select this sum bill and click on this arrow button. When you click on this arrow button, we can see we're getting an option called format. So select this format options and there's a different section that will be open for you in order to format your data. Now, as per our scenario, we need to add a currency symbol for each sales value. So we can go to this number section and click on this arrow and we can see there are a lot of options where you can work around the percentage or numbers, currency. All of this, we can select the cur currency custom and we can see the moment we select this currency custom, the rupee symbol has been prefixed in front of each sales value. We can also change this value from rupees to dollar as per our requirement. For now, we can use the default dollar value for this particular model or visual. We can also add grand totals for each of the column. So in order to add a grand total, we can, we can go to this particular option called analysis. In this option, we have to select the total option from here and you can see there are a lot of other features that we can do with total options. So as per our requirement, we need to show the grand total of the column. So click this option called show column grand totals. The moment we click this option, we can see the grand total of the column has been populated. Guys, you can play around these format options in order to explore it more. You can also play around with this currency custom where you can change the decimal value from two to zero or zero to any number of decimal places that you want. We can also play with the display unit for negative values. So people who are from financial reporting background, they can use this particular options where they can select this bracket, round bracket for negative values because in financial reporting, the negative values are always between the round bracket. So this was all about format, the basic formatting that we can do with our visuals. So now once we, when we are done with formatting and aggregation, it's very important that we you should save our work for future references. So Tableau offers you two basic file format to save your work. Let's see what are the two different types of file format that Tableau offers. So in order to save your file, go to the file option, click on save as, and over here, you will ask to select the location where you want to save your file. You can give a name, file name like a sales report or sales analysis in this case. And we can see in the save as type option, Tableau provides you with two options. The first is TWB, that is Tableau Workbook, and TWBX, that means Tableau Work with XML format. Now, what is the difference between TWB and TWBX? TWB is, is the earlier version of Tableau. If you save your file format in TWB, that means Tableau Workbook format, and you share your file with a person with whom the, the data set is not there in his local system, he will be unable to view this particular file. So for TWB options, it's very important that the person or the intended user with whom you're sharing a report should have the data set 
in order to view a report. So this is a very traditional way of saving Tableau workbook. But if you save in TWBX format, even if the other person doesn't have the data set, he can easily view your report. So TWBX is like a zip file, which actually compresses all the images format, all the marks or all the colors or all the functions and formulas that you have performed this particular report along with the data set and saves the workbook. So the most the right way to save your workbook or the best practice I must say to save any Tableau workbook is to select always TWBX format. So in this case, I will select TWBX format and we can save our Tableau workbook. So this was all about format and how we can save our work for future references. In my next segment, I will talk about some more advanced visualizations where I will be using some dual access concept to build some visuals which are actually not there in Tableau desktop. Thank you for watching this video guys.